Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can call Apex class to Process Builder in Salesforce. Before start, if you want to watch more Salesforce training videos, you can go to description of this video and you will find links of various playlists related to Salesforce videos. So you can follow them as well. So first of all, I'm going to explain the class that will be uh, called through Process Builder. So whenever you want to call any class through Process Builder, so you have to use at the rate invocable method annotation uh, before the method. So here name of class is account action, method name is update account name. It will be receiving list of IDs into IDs variable. Then this is list of account that will be updated after some uh, processing. And here uh, I have applied a query which will be uh, querying name of accounts based on this list of ID. Those will be queried into accounts list. Then I'm iterating this and updating name with a test. Uh, this test will be appended at the end of this name. And then this account will be uh, added into this account to be added, sorry, account to be updated list. Then after completion of this loop, all the accounts will be updated. So now this Apex uh, class will be uh, triggered through the process builder. So now I'm going to create a process through process builder. So that uh, process will be executing on account whenever a record changes. So what I, uh, I uh, want to do, whenever I want to create an account record, I want to add a test or you can say I want to append test uh, in the name of account. So I am selecting only when a record is created option, saving this. Then for criteria, I am writing always run because I don't want to choose any condition. But if you want to apply any condition so that uh, you can decide whether to call the FX or not, so you can do that as well. But I am choosing no criteria because I want to uh, execute that Apex class always whenever a count record is created. Then add action, select Apex. Then here you can type uh, action name call Apex to update account name. Then here you can see that Apex class name is populated automatically. So uh, in a particular class, wherever you have uh, at the rate invocable method annotation, those classes will be available here so that you can pass uh, parameters into those. So if we read this help text, so it says the Apex class must have an invocable method. So it is having, that's why it is available here. Then if I click on add rows, so whatever the input variables are available in that method, that will be populated here automatically. So uh, here it is having only one uh, parameter. So one argument can be passed. If we have comma separated multiple uh, variables here, so then we can click on add rows so that we can pass multiple values as well. So right now I'm passing uh, record ID of this current record through which this process is initiated. So account ID will be passed. And if you have more than one parameters, then click on add row and pass another uh, argument as well. So right now we don't have, so I clicked on save. So this way this process is created, which will call uh, Apex class whenever account record is created and it will be appending test uh, in the account name. So it is activated now. So I'm moving to account tabs. Uh, trying to create new account record. So let's say account name is ACC and I'm clicking on save. So just after account creation, you will see, uh, yeah, here you can see paste test is appended automatically uh, with account name because that is available in this class. So this way you can do any other operation as well. Uh, so uh, uh, whenever you want to call Apex class uh, through process, so use this annotation. Uh, invocable method uh, that is uh, uh, written as at the rate invocable method and you can call that apex here and pass the uh, required variables as an argument that will be received through uh, parameters those are defined in the apex class so this way i hope you understood how we can call apex class through a process builder in salesforce 
if you want to watch more uh, salesforce or process builder related videos go to the description of this video and you will find various uh, links of salesforce playlist so follow them and learn salesforce thank you for watching this video